Welcome back once again. This time I'm going to show you a new JJ tech, if you like to call it so, that's only doable in the new testing grounds. After that, I'm going to talk about Jian Jun's unblockable heavy mix up that sadly isn't a mix up since the entire thing is preventable by doing one specific thing. And that obviously is not intended. And the last thing I'm talking about is the kick mix up. So, first up, the new JJ tech. This time, it's an unparryable zone. It's doable by using the Leap of Faith free roam emote from the Assassin's Creed event. You use that emote and after your character jumps into the air, you buffer your zone attack. What it does is, it makes your zone unparryable because your character doesn't target your opponent. He instead does the attack into the direction he's looking. So if you position yourself the right way, you can even get a zone that's unreactable because it hits basically instantly. It may not be as useful as the other tags I discovered, but it's still a thing. And this is not doable on other characters as far as I know, because I also tested it on a couple of different characters, for example Zerg. It's also only doable with the free roam emote on JJ, because it's the only one that kind of prevents you from being able to do anything while you're locked into the air, while you're jumping. And that's, as far as I know, the thing that causes it. Next up, I'm going to talk about Jian Jun's unblockable heavy finisher mix-up. Sadly, it's not a mix-up at all, because all of the options are dodgeable on one timing. If you let the finisher go, your opponent dodges. If you faint into a guard break, your opponent dodges on the same timing. If you faint into light, your opponent can still dodge on the same timing and prevents all three of those uh, possible mix-ups. This entire thing is not just a problem in the testing grounds, it's also in the normal duels and it's not just it from the new patch. It's been like this for a couple of seasons, As f yeah, I think for a couple of seasons. Um, this problem has to be taken seriously and fixed as soon as possible because this causes Jian Jun to not have any good offensive tools against opponents who know that this is a thing. And pretty much all of the opponents I face in ranked know that this is a thing. And just prevent my offense like this. Which made me stop playing Jian Jun for quite some time now already. And I played Jian Jun for 70 reps. Almost in ranked duels only. I would love to play Jian Jun in the near future again. So I hope this is getting looked at and adjusted as soon as possible. So, about the cape mix up. This is not as important as the unblockable heavy finisher mix-up, but it's still worth taking a look at Yubi. The following problem is also like the unblockable finisher mix-up problem, not just a problem in the testing grounds, it's a general problem that JJ has. It basically has a similar, if not the same problem as the unblockable finisher mix-up. You can prevent the heavy itself from hitting, the kick from hitting and the guard break connects too late if you dodge on one timing on reaction to Jian Jun's, uh, to Jian Jun going for that mix-up. You don't even have to have fast reactions for it either. But there's one thing which makes this even worse. If your opponent dodges on that timing and you decide to go for a kick, he can even confirm a light right after. The opponent doesn't need to dodge attack for it. Also, I want to tell you Ubisoft, you have done an amazing job with the changes in testing grounds. The stamina changes let you actually commit your offense without having to go for many feints because you don't want to you don't have to worry about going out of stamina on a parry anymore. Also, the damage nerfs were in my opinion a really good thing, especially that chain starters tend to deal way less damage and chain attacks like actual chains deal more damage is a really really good change in my opinion. Just obviously some numbers like Lawbringers, uh, Light Parry, Punish or uh, Gladiators 27 damage zone should obviously not be that high but it's testing rounds after all so I don't really see the problem in that for now. Also the fact that attacks are harder to react now is a great change. In general I would love to see most of the changes from testing grounds make it through to the actual game. Yeah, uh, that's it for now. Uh, much love and see you next time.